Box. Couch guy. I'm raggable. And you're watching the Two Smart Guys show, where every week we bring you the latest and greatest in voiding warranties. Well, you with, know, there's got to be creative ways to uh, break stuff. I mean, fix stuff. And what are we fixing breaking today? We're going to break my PSP. Yeah, so uh, PSP of your choice. We are we're going to be enhancing a regular PSP so that you can run backups. Uh, backups. So you can back up backups so you can play them on this little guy. And are there other things besides backups that we can play afterwards? Yes, all homebrew. Homebrew? And all kinds of cool yeah. little fun modifications to the system that aren't normally allowable. And this particular method is non-permanent. Yes. So you, you can boot up into the mode with all the extra features, or you can boot up as just regular PSP. Last week we had a discussion about how to downgrade your PSP to uh, 6.20, and that allows you to make a permanent upgrade. This is actually using a certain set of firmwares. Uh, there's only three available um, that you can use this with. Right. Uh, and we're doing the latest one, which is 6.39. 6.39. If you do 6.20 like we showed you last week, you can do a permanent flash, but we're not doing that this week. We're going to make one that you can actually bounce back and forth. That way you don't lose your online ability. Well, you will if you have to update. So let's just be honest about that. You don't lose the ability to not ever do it again. You know what? I just realized we have the perfect spokesperson today for go to meeting. Yeah. We have a shining example. Raggable was using it for a class. What, what do you I think of go to meeting? It for a class. It was amazing. Le let's you have meetings with all your classmates and. Did you fail the class? No, I did not. All right, then it was good stuff, right? Try a free 30 days at. Uh, Use this, you know, code word podcast. Podcast. Okay. Free 30 day trial, go to meeting.com, give it a shot. Citrix, good stuff. Yeah. Give it a shot. So, um, I started out with uh, 6.35, and we just got done upgrading to 6.39 <clears throat> on the little PSP. Yeah, so take, if you're at anything below 6.39, upgrade to it. Yeah. Like this. Root of your PSP memory stick, game. PSP game, you make an update folder, and you put the eBoot in there for the official Sony update. Copy it over, uh, which is something Couch Guy would do anyways because he's a sucker for updates. Installation is really simple. You just download the PSP Pro custom firmware, you unarchive it, and you copy over the folders Pro Update and Fast Recovery over to your PSP's memory stick. They go into the PSP slash game folder. Then on your PSP, Simply start the Pro Update executable and hit X to install the aftermarket modules. X again brings you back to your PSP and you're ready to go. If you restart your PSP or it loses full power, all you have to do is run the fast recovery. Then it'll go ahead and enable the aftermarket modules again that let you do all the fun things such as ripping UMDs to ISOs for backup so you can play them on the PSP Go. So let's go ahead and do that. It's real simple. Hit select on your PSP, change the USB from memory stick to UMD, then start up the USB mode on your PSP and on your PC, bam, it'll pop up and it'll have just a little ISO on there. Copy it over onto your computer. Then you can change your mode back again to memory stick and then you can copy it back over onto your memory stick or you can plug in a PSP Go and copy it over to its memory stick in an ISO folder on the root of the memory card. If there isn't one there, go ahead and make it, and then you'll be able to play your games like We Have Call of Duty and Wipeout. Okay, Raggable. Yes. Um, so what do you think? This is pretty cool, huh? Amazing. I mean, you've never used anything like this before. Ever. No. And fantastic. <laughs> she seriously picked this up earlier tonight and was like, what does this do? <laughs> like, it plays games. Really? What, what, kind of game, <laughs> what kind of games do you play on here? Anyway. He. Cool he. stuff. Um, somewhere on one of these corners is something that says subscribe. Subscribe to hit the, the feed! Uh, iTunes, just hit it. It'll be delivered automatically. Um, we do this show live on what day is it today? Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday nights. Wednesdays, you see new update shows every week. 
Yeah, so. follow us on Twitter, Pox, Couch Guy. I'm not Couch Guy. Not Couch Guy. I'm Tommy Five C. I'm and I'm at walking and I'm at Walking Crow. If you tweet the poor Couch <laughs> Guy, he's not gonna know what you're talking about. And po- the Pox, he doesn't even speak English. No, it's at Walking <laughs> Crow. It's completely asinine. Our Twitter accounts based on the show. Um, oh, anyway. and show him the shirt. Where's the shirt? No. Hey, you had it. Oh, here it is. Hey, uh, Zazzle. Zazzle. You want to see what Zazzle does? Guess yeah. what? Look at this. Wait, 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 wait. Start on the back. Start on the back. Stop it. <laughs> on the back. Start with the back. You want your own? <clears throat> TwoSmartGuys.com, right? Go to Zazzle.com. Use the code, and you can get your own t- sweatshirt. You can make it a t-shirt if you want to. With the um, number two. So you can save some cash um, on a... S- yeah, 10% on orders, $50 more. $50. Make yeah. sure it wasn't $75. And make your own t-shirt. Make your own sweatshirt. I want to make some more. Because and even if, you don't, cool. even if you don't want to buy one yourself, you can make your own and sell it and make money. You can set how much yeah. you want to make. You can have start yeah. your own little t-shirt business. Yeah. Everyone says they have a great idea for a t-shirt. If, you make, a t-shirt. if you make me one, a better one, I'll, I'll buy it. A better one. You like that? A better <laughs> one. I'm going to make a better one. <laughs> Anyways, see you guys next week. Bye. So would this be like a, a PSP Nino? <laughs> PSP child? <laughs> Nina. It's kind of girly. <laughs>